Hey everybody, did it really here? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Rain de Fleur along Leon's path. And we just finished our visit with uh, Hubert here, interrogating him, seeing what kind of advice he gave, wanted to give us, which of course was once again to give up and give our body to the goddess so she can fix the world. Oh, yeah, but also now his new advice is to uh, get rid of Leon so that the god of demolition won't come back to life and destroy the world. Yeah, we're not liking you very much right now, Hubert. He's definitely not pushing us toward the good end with Leon here. So, uh, let's see if we have to respond to his last quip or if we're just going to go ahead and leave and ignore him. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Ah, as we were leaving, he was saying, It is easy to say you are important, or I will protect you. However, that will not be enough. As long as you are afraid to sacrifice, to be accused, or to get your hands dirty. You guys will never surpass me, because what you have in your heart is insignificant compared to what's in mine. <sighs> deep inside his fearlessly smiling eyes, I find a darkness so deep that it makes chills run down my spine. I have never seen Hubert smile like that before. Those eyes of his say that he will revive the goddess no matter what it takes. Was that too much? Not really. I expected as much. But what about you, Leon? Me? Uh, about the ceremony. How can you be so calm? Hubert was telling you to... Calm down. It's not like you to get emotional over such a little thing. That's not a little thing to me. Yeah, we don't want you to die. How can you possibly think we would want to let you go to your doom? We haven't decided what we're going to do yet, so just calm down. Ugh. When it comes time to decide, I'll be ready then. That will never happen. Even if I fail as a rain, I don't want to sacrifice you. Oh. Let's go back and tell everyone what we heard. Just get in the carriage. Yes, sir. Yes. Hey, look at that bush. That flower. I've seen it in my country, too. The flower's small, but you can also drink it as a tea. Hmm. Hmm? Should I pick some and make tea for you? No, that's okay, but... Ah, there's an apple tree a little farther ahead, so let's pick some of them, too. Leon, I'm... Hey, let's go! Give me your hand! Uh, uh, and he's off. He didn't give me a chance to say anything. He just takes my hand and keeps going. Phew, he doesn't listen. After getting into the carriage, Leon just changes the destination on his own. He doesn't listen to me, just fends off my questions. While I feel rushed, thinking we don't have the time to do this sort of thing now, Leon just acts freely, as if nothing has happened. When I was hiding from you guys, I often came here to spend time. It's been a long time since I stayed outside overnight. Well, I guess it wasn't cold then, so it was better before. Leon. Huh? Isn't this enough? Let us go back to everyone else. What, you don't like his idea? He looks disgruntled. He's like, what, you don't want to spend time with me? If you don't want to, I will just go home by myself. I firmly told him so, then Leon just shrugs his shoulders and gives me a bitter smile. There's a lot of bitter smiles in this game lately. <laughs> you really are stubborn. You know that we don't have time, so... I know, but I bought you here to give you something you really need now. Hey, come here. What? Leon? There, there. You did well. You're a good girl. 
It sounds like he's treating me like a kid. <laughs> Violet's face. <laughs> what? Hmm? I'm spoiling you. Nobody's around to see, so... Are you making fun of me? No, I'm not. What you need most right now is to be pampered like this. I don't need such things. Ah, so I'm just doing it without getting your permission. In this situation, where everything is going against you, even you have to try harder to be stronger, don't you feel insecure and scared? That is... I understand that we don't have time, and you're rushed and frustrated. But, in a situation like this, you have to be calm, and don't ever blame yourself. It's okay. You're doing well. Don't worry. Leon, in front of everyone, you're going to try hard to act like a rain, right? So, just be yourself in front of me, as a woman, while you can. <sighs> Why? Why does Leon always wear me down so easily like this? Isn't it better to be yourself for a while and feel better instead of running away like I did? Just like this. He still smiles after making fun of himself. All for me. Yes, you may be right. So I can shake off the tension a bit and just be myself. If I run away, everyone would be even more worried than when you ran away. That was my bad. I'm really sorry about that, so don't bring it up again. You started it. <laughs> Leon just smiles as he agrees. I'm comfortable feeling his warmth so close to me, and I slowly exhale. A while back, when things like this happened, Hubert was the one who always comforted me. Hearing that name now bugs me. That was before. Now, things have changed. You are the only one who can spoil me. I will be like this only with Leon. Well, I have no other choice. You didn't have to add that last bit, Violet. You just kind of cheapened it. I see. Then, I accept. Let it be only me you can show yourself to. If you do this with other men, I'll go crazy with jealousy. I will not. I promise. Leon's hand that patted my head is a little rougher than Hubert's. But... It's very warm. It's okay. He knows my weaknesses, my immaturity, but he still accepts me for who I am. As long as he stays by my side, I can be myself. Leon. I told you so many things, but perhaps, maybe it's because I was missing something. What? You. Leon is just so sweet. You always say such things. But I understand your feelings now. Because I was also hoping to have some time with Leon like this. Hmm. Are you okay now? Not really, but better. Yes, thanks to you. That's good. You look best when you're smiling like this. Everyone must be waiting for us. We have to go. Yes, let's go. While we walk together to the carriage, I ask him something that's been bothering me. Hey, Leon, I've been curious about something. What do you think the goddess will do to the land after she comes back to life? It seems like she has a plan since Zero is also trying to revive as well. I don't know. But I don't want to give up, even if the gods' powers are necessary to save the land. I want a future where you and I can stay together. Me too. I also want to stay with Leon forever and ever. We went home with feelings that can't be expressed in words. At Gislan's mansion, I told everyone how it went with Hubert, including Hubert's suggestion to destroy Leon with Zero. When I told them about it, they all looked conflicted. As I expected of Hubert, he's really good at making the things he wants sound right. If it was just to save the land, 
Actually, his suggestion is the best thing we can do. So, Rain, what are you going to do? Will you choose to sacrifice Leon and Pivone to save the others? No, I can't do such a thing. I will never do that. However, we will still hold a ceremony. We can't leave Gizlan's condition alone anymore. Princess, you should know that we'll only delay matters for now. Yes, but I think this is the best thing I can do at the moment. <sighs> Gizlan, I know you want to say something, but please, just follow her decision. Just this once. Yes, even though it's only a temporary solution, we need that extra time now. Please, Gizlan, tell me yes. If that is the rain's order. Gizlan does not seem to be totally convinced yet. It may be impossible for him to accept this after he made the decision to allow his country to be destroyed. What should I do? Unless we solve the underlying problem, there will be no future for us. As I think more and more, the answer just falls into the darkness. Still, we need to hold the ceremony and get it done successfully tomorrow. Why tomorrow? Why not now? Why do we always delay so much? Since I will be dealing with Grace, my body will certainly be affected by Malene. I have to pull myself together. I am myself. Princess, are you still up? You look down. You can't do your best at the ceremony tomorrow if you're like this. I was not. But you have to get enough rest. Yes, if you can't sleep alone, we can sleep with you. Like the other night. Huh? Akane, that won't be enough. We have to sing a lullaby too. Oh, I don't know, that could actually keep me awake longer. Yes, we will sing for the princess from our hearts. Oh, that's sounding like it's going to be a little too enthusiastic. Seems both of them are really concerned about me. Seeing them so serious naturally brings a smile to my face. Yeah, they can always cheer me up, but that doesn't mean I'll get to sleep any easier. Well, it's been more doom and gloom, and we don't know what's going to happen when we try to do the ceremony next time. Ay ay ay! when are we going to get some good news? When's somebody going to come up with an idea? Come on, Louie, you're smart, think of something. You're the wily one in the group. Well, hopefully somebody will come up with something soon. <laughs> I hope to see you in my future videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.